this is Peggy and this morning we have a very special guest we're very excited to have our first guest chick <laughs> this is Shelby Shelby's a friend of mine who uh, three years ago started a photography business and it's been so fun watching it grow and flourish and she does amazing work so we're thrilled to have her as our first guest chick um, I, you know we're all working on different projects and we all are interested in a lot of different things so we'd love to hear about about you and what you do and how you got started in photography. Um, well I think I've always been interested in photography um, not much the technical side of it but the picture side of it and I think my passion really began after I had children and I realized that they're growing so fast and they're doing all these special things that I keep saying in my head, Shelby, you have to remember this moment. And they're not the moments when I take them to the picture studio and they're posing them and, you know, putting them in these positions. It's just when they're doing their fun, silly things or they're rolling over, their smiles. I think a lot of people want to know, like, how did you find the courage? What did you do before? And how did you find the courage to kind of make that huge leap of faith? Well, it was a really interesting transition. Um, I'd like to say it happened over time, but I can remember the exact moment um, when I was working for um, my old employer and I was in the office place and one of my colleagues had mentioned that she actually went to school for photography and that was always a dream of hers to start a business. And she left the office and all of a sudden I felt my heart racing and I felt like this is something I want to do. Like all of a sudden it was like a light bulb that went off and I said, I'm going to do this. I'm going to start a business. Like it, it clicked. I've spent my whole life dancing and expressing my creativity through motion. And now I felt like that was missing in the workplace, being able to express myself in some way. And now I get to express emotion through pictures. And so it all started going together and going together. And by the time I got home, I was already thinking of company names. And I told my husband, I need to have a talk with you. This is, I've decided what I want to do. And so his first reaction was, did you have a bad day at work? <laughs> and I said, no, I just, I feel this, I can't, my heart can't stop beating. I feel like this is something that I was meant to do and I want to do it. And I, I just have this like feeling that I'm going to be good at it. And he said, okay, well, you probably ought to get a camera first. <laughs> I think he thought I was crazy. So um, he said, you know, do it. I support you. And that was like a big moment for him to take the leap and say, I support you. And um, so I started getting things in motion while I was working. So what do you do to keep your creative growth going? Well, um, I do a couple things. Um, I think it's really important, and you all know, to have some creative rest. <laughs> and this summer, I have taken the summer off. Um, I've accepted a few baby clients, babies that are due over the summer. And I said to my husband, who his first reaction was, you can't take the summer off. <laughs> and I said, yes, I can. <laughs> and I am. And um, I just said to him, I want to go back to not doing it for a business just for the summer. I want to play with my kids. I want to take them to different places. I want to do a lot of experimentation and I just want to kind of creatively re-energize myself. And I, I get together with a lot of different photographers from all over the country. There are some really great workshops that are put on. I just signed up to go to one in Charlotte in September. And all it is is three days of a bunch of photographers sitting around, talking about photography, trying new things, learning from people yeah, who've been extremely successful. And it's fun. I mean, you oh, experiment, cool. you talk. Um, there's an online Facebook group that I converse with huh. for Central Florida female photographers. Um, one of the local photographers put that together. Oh, I love that. And it's yeah. been a great non-competitive way to share ideas. Probably share. what you're saying is that um, if an artist in any field wants to be successful, they have to find a, a group of, say, I don't know, <laughs> three or four or so. <laughs> Exactly. It is helpful. We should support each other. Yeah, we should. Right. And right. it should not be competitive. I strongly yeah. feel that. we uh, yeah. There's enough business to go around and we yeah. should all be able to support one another. Yeah. Artists all have self-doubt at some point. So do you ever have self-doubt and what do you do to overcome it? 
Um, I mean, of course. I think we all do. And um, there'll be sometimes I'll come back from a session and, you know, it could be a family or child that had a hard time warming up to me. And maybe I'll look at the pictures and feel like, gosh, I'm taking a step backwards. Mm -hmm. And um, I think what's helped me is, again, to talk to other friends and photographers. And, you know, the one thing that they'll say to me is, we are our own worst critic. And your yeah. clients will love the pictures, mm -hmm. but you will always critique them find really, really energizing and inspiring? Um, you know, honestly, I thought about that. There's two things that really inspire me. The first is my kids. I mean, my kids were really the entire inspiration for starting my business and my passion for photography. The things that they do, I mean, even, even the crying and the tantrums and um, things that they do that drive me crazy. So I, you say, hold on, honey, let me get a camera. Let's get <laughs> I think those are more mental photographs. <laughs> but I, I, I do say, my mom tells me all the time, no matter how you feel, Shelby, these are the best years of your life. And I always think that in my head. One day it's going to be quiet and it, my life will not be chaotic and I will yeah. miss it. So they truly inspire me. Um, I also feel like places inspire me. Just um, beauty in general. A few months ago, um, I partnered with Arnold Palmer. Um, I decided that as a small business, I want to continue to do some charity work. Um, I did a lot when I was with my previous employer, so I felt if every small business can do some charity work, then we'd be in a lot better place. And I thought there's no better place than, than to volunteer for Arnold Palmer. And I have a client. Which is our hospital. local children's hospital. Yes. What they wanted to do to make it very personal, which I love that, um, they wanted me to photograph their nurses babies. They have a lot oh of pregnant nurses. Oh. So all their nurses are getting a session with me, um, complimentary. I give them a complimentary print and then um, I go through and select the images I want and their image will be portrayed in a massive, big canvas on the floor that they work. That is incredible. Thank you for coming on the show. <laughs> and um, you know, you are our first guest chick, so you get like an award that we're working uh, on yay. for having the courage. <laughs> for, for having the courage to be the first. Um, and, and even though you are successful, we want to reinforce that, you know, being a guest chick or submitting your chick story is not about look how successful I am. It's it's really about the journey and encouraging other artists. Um, you know, not to be intimidated by one person's success, but to be inspired by it. So, um, what advice would you give to our future guest chicks who will no doubt want to come on the show? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'm really honored to be here. So, I think any guest chick should be honored to be amongst other successful women. And I would just tell them to embrace it. And um, I hope that these friendships remain friendships forever and that we continue to support each other in our creative ventures.